yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, finally feel well rested. <laughs> it's been a long cruise. It's day six. It's the last sea day. Tomorrow we do NASA. And uh, yeah, finally well rested. <laughs> it's been a whirlwind cruise, but I'll tell you, this sea day is going to be packed with fun. We got a lot. We have go-kart race today and uh, lots of other great stuff with our friends and our group. So this is going to be awesome. And I mean, I'm looking out at this and it feels very mild, extremely mild right now on this balcony. It's beautiful. Cruising is awesome. <laughs> if you're watching this and considering it and never done it, book it. <laughs> All right, it's time to take a walk because God knows if I keep going to the casino in the morning, I will be completely broke. So it's super early, the time zone just changed back. So my body feels like it's seven o'clock very well rested, but it's actually six or six something. Deck 17. Deck 17. So I'm going to take a stroll outside based on my little adventure into the, uh, out to the balcony. I know that it feels amazing. So I am going to go out here and find some places on the ship I have not yet found. This is deck 17. Hi. Bye. Deck 17, overlooking the pool. We've certainly been up here many times, but I'm gonna try to go higher than this. I bet you wish that the pool deck was looked like this, you know, every sleep day for you when you came down with your towel looking for a chair. <laughs> mm. Alright, let's go up to deck 18. Which on this ship and, you know, Escape and the others from Norwegian, it's about this big. <coughs> so this is it. I'm not allowed there, but um, that's all I can see that way. I wonder if I need to go around the other way. Or if it's just off limits. <laughs> Probably is. Part of that. I can barely even get to the top of the stairs. There's a gate. Good morning, Norwegian Bliss. The views of the ocean, I'm telling you, views of the ocean are awesome on the cruise ship for me. I love them. I think most people do. This isn't too bad. So what's Spice H2O like early in the morning? This is what it's like. Look at all these chairs that you could have if it was 11 o'clock in the morning later today. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. Not terrible. Not terrible. Feels really good. Yeah. Cool place. Super nice when it's beautiful out in the morning. No one's around. So just take a moment and just relax. Alright, so I got up earlier than Deb and I got ready to come out and take a walk like this. So I'm going to have to surprise her and get her her juice that she loves. I don't know if you've seen these vlogs before, but Deb is obsessed to the point that it's kind of a sickness about her morning vegetable juice. So I need to get that for her. It'll make her happy. So I'm going to do that. Garden Cafe. Looks very familiar to Escape Getaway. Ooh, things and stuff. They're ready. They're ready. <clears throat> There's nobody here. I was actually the first one to walk in this morning, which is crazy. I don't know how that worked, but omelets. All this, man, you should smell this right now, by the way. Bacon. The smell of bacon is. I came in just to get a juice for Deb, but um, that bacon, I might have to, I might have to get some. Yes. Yeah, you should see us at home at the grocery store. We get like 12 celeries and 12 cucumbers every week. <laughs> People look at us funny. <laughs> I got her her juice. How to make Deb Dancer just the happiest girl in the world. Bing! That's how it's mm. uh, now you just step on your just balcony. What you, I needed. <laughs> you can show it. All right, we have to check out our oh, huh? Check out our whiteboard. Somebody did write on it. Favorite late night snack: Pasolito de Guayaba. I don't know what that is, but I. But imagine it's amazing because it's got a smiley face. So it's got to be good. We've got um, some tic-tac-toe action here happening. It looks like we need a little help on this one. Let's do We didn't get a lot of stuff done yesterday, but that's okay. We did have an addition on our checklist. So, um, so that's good. So we're going to put a new checklist out and a new question of the day. All right, so um, the clocks moved back an hour today, which was really nice. And that was nice because I went to bed, you know, 10.30 or so. And um, woke up at, I guess, and it would be six. So I really had a good night's sleep, finally, for the first time this whole cruise. We've been usually burning the candle at both ends, so I was happy to go to bed. Anyway, we're down in the garden cafe. Yes, I did have my juice this morning, but we came down and we're gonna have a little bit more to eat. I grabbed some gluten-free bread and um, hard-boiled egg and some fruit <clears throat> and coffee. That's what's left over. <laughs> so this day is on. Uh, this is it. this is our sea day, and it's our last sea day before we are in back in Miami. So. Right now, um, we don't have a whole lot of stuff planned today. There is, we do have um, go-kart racing. I'm gonna do that today. And maybe just some more exploring. And uh, I think it's gonna be kind of a low-key day, but I don't know what to expect. So we're gonna see what the day holds, but that's, that's kind of where we are right now. I'm looking forward to it. I feel refreshed and ready to go. I got my Dave's lousy cup of coffee. <laughs> we're ready to go. Best thing about this particular cruise versus other ones, we get company for breakfast. <laughs> bang, <Bye>. bang. <laughs> so we were able to give one of our cards away this morning. Brian was fresh out of coffee and a gentleman, um, he helped us and he brought Brian a whole brand new 
cup of coffee. And he didn't have to do that, but he did anyway. So I got a picture and I'll put that in right now. There he is. <laughs> and then when they open the Oh, I know. Summer. All right, tell us again about Yos Van Dyke. Yeah, kind of. So yeah, because we went, we're so we're curious on that too. Yos Van Dyke is one of the most beautiful beaches I have ever seen in my entire life, and everybody should go visit and go to the soggy dollar bar <laughs> and have oh, yes. a painkiller. Pain and I had a painkiller. It was delicious. Sugary <laughs> and sweet, wonderful. How was the shuttle? Was it? It was like great. The, um, the if, if, if you take the catamaran, oh. I suggest you sit in the back. Okay. Uh, downstairs. Okay. Because it's pretty bumpy, oh. but okay. it's so fun and you are gonna love it. Okay. And so yeah. I'm good. telling good you, advice. you guys need yep. to. All right. Oh, this is the uh, get active, active before the trivia. It's get active. So where should we sit somewhere down here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah if I need a seat, okay. I'll be right back. Well, yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Who wants to get a coffee? Want to have some coffee with me? It's not complimentary, but it's worth it. Oh, this is a line over here. This Starbucks has a heck of a view. All right. <laughs> These guys are the smart people. <laughs> All right, I'm just curious. Usually, right by the atrium, there is a there's conference seven rooms five, and uh, fourteen seven seven percent. Uh, oh yeah, conference Good room. Good morning. Fourteen seven seven four. So you can, I think you can um, you can actually reserve three, these. Two, five, four. Just kind of cool. Laundry pick up from the room. What is? It's so quiet in here. So they've got some games and puzzles. Nice. Oh, Scrabble. That'd be a good one. A few books. And here's your drop for your books. And this is checkout, so you just check them out yourself. Sudoku and crossword puzzles. And here's the hours. Looks like they're open mostly C days until um, 11. There's a little break in the afternoon, it looks like. So 5 p.m. And then C days, it's 11 p.m., which is nice. But they have a bunch of books here. If you like to read, maybe don't bring a book and get one from here. Well, shelves upon shelves. It's a mile wide. Great. Next one, number seven, is what country's one dollar coin is nicknamed the loony for the loon? On its flip side. What is it? Canada. Oh. No. Got it. We're not doing lady. so hot with this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now we're. Thanks for yelling it out. Yeah. yeah. That one we is, had that, that one. was the easiest one, but so far <laughs> the questions have been a little challenging. <laughs> I'm not any help at all. Question number eight is: In which decade did the oh, peanuts comics debut? Oh, is it the 30s? Debut? No. 30s. In which decade did the peanuts comics debut? It's been around a long time. 60s? Yeah. Don't don't ever listen to me. <laughs> I don't know any of this stuff. Yeah. Honestly, this should have been labeled like super expert professor yeah. Carl Trigg. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he probably would know. He probably the would. Probably is in jungle. And then the next <laughs> question number nine is what's most likely to occur Hiccups. when your diaphragm oh. goes into space? At least I knew one. I was 
All right, we came back to the room to grab a couple things. My battery's almost dead. Of course, I have to do that. I was going to just put my hair up because we're going to be outside a lot doing shuffleboard and uh, maybe sit, you know, doing stuff out there. So anyway, then I don't have to worry about it. And um, what I'm going to do is give one of our cards to our steward, um, our thank you cards for him for helping us out this week. So um, just put, you know, thank you and a $20 bill in there for him. And hopefully he'll take it uh, next time he comes to the room. So, kind of fun, fun stuff to do. We pulled our money. Oh. 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 My. Well, at least we won on that spin. Nice, I like the respin. We're all winners here. We got kitties. We're winners. <laughs> This is not enough. Yeah, triple in the middle. Come on. Um, sometimes they do something with it. Triple in the middle. Oh. All right, we are heading up to 18. 18. We have to go to 17 and take stairs up to 18 to go to the racetrack. It is time to race and win. Have those engines. That's right. <laughs> All right, just a reminder for everybody. Woo! You need close to shoes to ride the racetrack, and I did not have that. She's waiting with Carl. I can't get her attention, but she's over there. I don't know if you can see him, but there's Carl over there with his mask. They're robbing a bank later on. They're going to get out of the cashier <laughs> all right the excitement is building some of our sea cruisers group mates are in here including rob and, and uh, a bunch of others i think andrea is in there oh boy the excitement is building oh it is race time Dancer versus Slavinsky. Warrior v. Warrior. May the best person win. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines and all that stuff. Go, Carl! Represent them. Petaloo Medal. I don't know why. It's just kind of slow. Slow. So now we go up this stairway. Down there is where they took off. And right up here is the observation area where we can watch them. Look at this blazing race. This is a battle. Look at the speed. Look at this. This is incredible. They can hardly see them. They're going by so fast. <laughs> uh, the gas pedal's on the right. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> they govern it for the first lap. Down there is the lower area lane. So do not expect to like a race out of the gate. They really kind of get you out there, govern the car. Can only go, it looks like three, two miles an hour. But then they open it up. Oh, and they're off. We're racing. I think we gotta look down because uh, they're going down. We can see them. Oh, there they go. Where's the, there's Deb. Oh my. We're gonna look up here. Oh, Team Carl. Team Carl's in the hunt. 
Meanwhile, somehow Deb is taking a leisurely stroll around the track. <laughs> That beat Carl. That's insane. Wow. 88 and one. Oh, Adam. Thank, thank you for pointing this out. This is this is gold. Ooh. I can't see real good here. Who's that? Carl. Carl, come take a look real quick. Who's this? Wow. What is that? Wait a Look at the... Uh, Who is it? It says Deb 5, Carl 6. Oh! He's, he's deflecting. He knows he got beat. Dancers, be Slowinskis! Thanks for bringing that down. I know it's okay. Oh, don't worry about it. All right, don't forget your Dude, your fine. shoes. You have to be. They can't be sandals. They can't have open heel and open toe. So this is a no-no. Closed shoe. Like tennis shoe. Not even like closed sandal. Your heel has to be closed in. Yeah, I got smacked on the back. It was very aggressively. Wow. Yeah. Okay, you can win the race. Go ahead. You know. But they meant the top to the bottom was within the section. Well, except for the last one. Way on the base. That was yeah. fun. You like fun. it? 